Welcome to Shortcut Reviews, where we get right to the point. And today I'll be looking at the Delica Dragonfly in ZDP 189. So let's do some size comparisons with the Spider Coat Delica next to the Dragonfly, and the Spider Coat Paramilitary 2, a smaller EDC knife, the Kershaw Leak. A US dollar bill, so you can see this is a tiny knife and a zebra pen. So let's take a look at the details of the knife. Um, the Dragonfly by Spyderco is a small um, EDC knife. It does have a wire clip that is both tip up right and left capable. Uh, the wire clip is great. A knife this small though I actually find the only time I carry a knife this small is when I want it buried in my pocket totally and none of it showing. So a lot of times I actually take off the clip and will carry just the knife inside my pocket. It has a nice jumping on the thumb ramp and a half and half finger choil. It for being such a small knife you can actually get all your fingers on it if you have a medium sized hand. Uh, which is nice. It has a very small blade with a nice wedge on it, classic Spyderco shape. FR on handle with a back lock, so there won't be much spider flicking open this knife, but uh, it's not really that kind of knife anyway. And again, really the major attribute to this knife is just that it's small. Um, it's well done. There are no washers at all in this knife. Um, it's uh, just molded into the FRN handle. Uh, the FRN handle is super strong. Uh, Spyderco's wire clip is probably the better clips. This is actually a knife that a lanyard hold tends to make a lot of sense because you may have a short lanyard on it if you're not going to if you're going to carry it straight in your pocket. Anyway, it's smooth. Uh, the ZDP steel is um, uh, a super steel, and it's a great super steel. There is also uh, a cheaper option, VG10 which is uh, just a fine, adequate steel. Um, the knife itself, though, is pretty expensive for what you get. You can certainly get more blade and more capability for the same price. The Spyderco Dragonfly is just really a specialty knife. Um, when you need something ultra small, still relatively capable for its size, but it's expensive and it has just limited application. Really, for an EDC knife, you're better served with something delicate sized but again, if you need something small in your pocket, live in a jurisdiction where this is the max blade length, but a locking blade is still okay. Um, my understanding is places like Boston, um, this may be a, a knife that you're allowed to carry. It's well done, it's well executed, but generally I want a little more knife on me. So the conclusion is, if it fits a niche that you have, um, it's a great little knife. If you can carry something a little bit more a little bit more capable than that would be my suggestion. So thanks for joining us for Shortcut Reviews and remember to stay sharp.